as you saw in the title, we're going to be creating 3D text. And the example that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing what you saw for the title. So let's get started. Let me turn this off. I've created a new project. So I use 720p high quality. So, whoa. Okay, so what I'm going to do is type my text. So, caps on 3D. And if you, as you saw in the beginning, the text comes in from opposite sides. So, in order to do that, you need to create a new layer of text. So, 3D. Okay, so now you have your text. We need to size it how you like it. Grab this. Okay. So there it is. But that's boring. We want the 3D effect, which is really easy to do. Select your group so any filter you add will be applied to everything in the group. Add filter. Stylize. And extrude. You notice you get this nice dot you can move around. It's really nice. Okay, I fixed it. Mm, this will be back settings. So now we're going to make the text come in from opposite sides. And of course, you know, you, before you do that, you can change the color. I'll just make it red like in the previous. And then I'll, you know, let's say, style. I'll add red outline with green text. You know, it's Christmas, Christmas colors. So we have our text with the color. So now we need to animate it moving. Real easy. I have our playhead at the beginning. Hit record. Oh, wait. I was doing it backwards. So drag where you want your object to come in. Room. Move your playhead to where you want it. To stop, hit record, and drag your object. So it'll dolly across. Now, play it back. Get this nice moving text. So now we need to edit text in motion. Select uh, that layer and do the same for the other one but in the opposite area. <clears throat> Chord. Oh no, I was so hit record. Trying to get it straight. Oh no. Uh whoa. Okay. So put your text where you want it and drag this to the end of that. And boom. Okay. So let me move both to down. Add that just a tad. Too high. So there you go. Comes in from opposite sides. But now, what about that cool moving background that you had? How do you do that? Oops. Um. Let me show you. I used the green one, I believe. Why? Well, yes, I did. 
Okay. So, you just drag and drop this to the bottom. So it'll go to the top. You want that? Down below everything. Now I turned off this circle. And I sized it. How I wanted. Okay. Make sure that your starburst or your background is not in the same group as the 3D text. I've made that mistake quite a few times. It happens. It's done with. So there it is. We're straight at the beginning and extend this throughout your timeline. So that's pretty nice looking. But how did I get the nice lighting? Oh, you want to you want to know how to do that? Book 50. No. It's pretty easy to do. Just go to object, new light, switch to 3D. So now, if I play it back, you get this nice lighting. And what we're going to do is have the intensity bring itself up. And it's going to move also. So we just want a small section like this. And then we're going to do the same with recording. Hit record. Drag it. so much and then put the intensity where you want it I use 182 it doesn't matter now if you play it back which this is not rendered so I would just scrub through it <clears throat> you get this nice text good for simple 3d titles and whatnot you can use anything in the back for the background you want. You can also just save this as a motion file, <clears throat> of course, and bring in a Final Cut Pro and superimpose it on top of a, another object. Hope this tutorial was helpful. This was HD V1DE0. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, or like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my website, b1de0.com. Be become a member. It's free. You get access to some free stuff. I've been posting some motion uh, templates and whatnot that I create and whatnot in the future. It's free. And so, yeah. Excuse the watermark that you saw throughout the tutorial. I'm trying to find a good screen capturing program that's better than QuickTime.